Hello guys, this is Gaurav and in this video, I'm going to tell you how to learn the defects of solid states. See in the chapter solid states, you have a topic known as defects in which you need to study the defects, uh, various defects like Frankel defect, Scott key defect, metal axis defect. So there are some defects like metal axis defect, which you can learn easily and correlate with the properties uh, because it's simple English. But some of the defects like Frankel defect and Scott key defect are the defects which are named after the scientists who discovered them, right? So it is very difficult for us to learn those defects and what is going to happen in those defects. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a really simple trick to learn them. And if you try to learn them, right, by yourself, and I can bet then you will forget them in within two or three weeks. So in this video, I'm going to tell you a really simple trick. So please stay tuned and let's get started. So first of all, I would like to talk about, talk about Frankel defect, right? So what is the first word that you get out of Frankel? It's Frank. And what do you think out of a small child and man? Which one out of them is more Frank? Obviously the child. And what do you think out of a cation and an anion? Which one is bigger? Obviously the anion is bigger and the cation is smaller. So how are we going to correlate it? See. We will assume that a cation, like a small child, will be more frank than an anion, right? And hence, a cation can easily mix up in the interstitial sites and create an interstitial defect, right? Here you can see the cation gets mixed up in the interstitial sites easily, right? So the place from where it gets is the place where it creates the vacancy defect. And the place where it gets interstitial defect is created so uh, and vacancy defect and interstitial defect are simply English right you can learn them easily and this was the way to learn the Frankel defect and Frankel defect shown by many solids and in most of them the cation is smaller in all of them the cation is smaller so let's move on to the next defect that is the Scott key defect right see here I have written shorts don't worry See, Schottky effect is sometimes pronounced as a short key by some people and I think that it's an advantage for them because they get to know a word called short. And if we add age to the word short, what we'll get? We'll get shortage. So, we get to know that there is going to be a shortage of atoms in the solid. And since the uh, solid is ionic, there will be shortage of ions and to maintain the electrical neutrality number of meeting, missing cations and anions are equal right so we'll see that an equal number of cations and anions are missing from this solid and that is what happens in the Schottky effect so hope you like the video and enjoyed it enjoyed chemistry right and if you did, then please do hit the like button and please don't hit the like button, dislike button. If you didn't like the video, please tell me in the comment section below. And uh, this video was on the request from Jason. Hope you watched the video, Jason, and liked it as well. So, this was a video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Trick Teacher, for the notifications of the latest videos. And please do watch the other, other videos like Simple Way to Learn Trigonometric Formulas, etc. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.